Alright, so this question is maximum depth of n tree. So given the tree node, you want to find the maximum depth. So you can use two solutions. First one is preference search, traverse level by level. You increment your level every single time. And then this will be the solution. The other one is using DFS. DFS is still going to be the same level by level, but you will go to the children and then you just keep going to, to the children if you have the input. So let, let's look at how I did it. So, so remember you have what the no the number of no is between zero to ten to the fourth. So just make sure you you have a base case if root equal to no return zero, right? So in this solution, let's look at the uh, BFS. BFS is pretty straightforward. So using a Q, Q of no, and then initial my linkers, and then Q that offer root, and then I need the label, label represent result, and I will return result. So I will traverse the Q until it's empty. So in size, I'm going to say what's my current size of Q, so I will be able to know what are my children for the current level. You, you don't want to pop any other node not in the current level, right? So for in i equal to 0, I list in size, I plus plus. So just pop number of node from the Q you have. And then for no child, and then know that children this is going to be the list right so using ch children and just add into the queue so this will be your solution and don't forget you need to increment your result which is going to be label every single iteration this is one level and i increment my result right so um, this is one, two, three. Do I do I starting from zero or one? So one. Okay, this is one. I increment one for my first one. I go on the next one, next level, and I increment. I go on my next level. I increment. So yes, yeah, so this will be it. So may I, So time and space is pretty straightforward. This is space. This is space, so it's gonna be all of n and represent number of no in the tree. And yeah, so if you want to have a fancy fancy style, it's gonna be like this. And this will be the fancy style. So you initialize the size as a as a q.size and you want to traverse until q, q is empty right and then every single time you want to reinitialize the size to the q.size and should be okay uh, yeah so the time and space are the same but shoulder the shoulder line but um doesn't matter okay so this is bfs so let's talk about dfs the so dfs you want to traverse the depth based on the current node. So you can say if so the base case won't be the same and I'm gonna initial my depth equal to zero. So remember if if you have a base case which is gonna be you want to traverse your children but you don't have children. Alright so you return zero. Now you are the the leaf right the leaf you, you don't have children but you are the leaf the leaf is what your current death plus one right you're not return one you have you are going to say death uh death equal to zero plus one so you are you, you know you are at level one and then you traverse so this is how you traverse so whenever you traverse you want to find out the maximum between your children So it's gonna be um, some other record or what? 
So it's going to be between. So if uh, if you are at this level, you want to find out what is your current maximum debt for your children. And in this time, you return two. And once you get a maximum, you want to say, okay, two plus one for myself, right? So should be okay. All right, time and space are straightforward. This is space, constant. This is time. It's going to be all open. You traverse every single node once. So this will be a solution. And question is pretty standard. All right, if you still have a question, leave a comment. I'll see you later. Bye.